Adrian reporting for ESCplus.com. We are a few minutes ahead of Estee Lauder 2019 final. As you see behind me, I have this huge wall where we were doing all the interviews to the artists. And next to me, I have Pille, who has been really helpful, really supportive during this past couple of days uh, with all the interviews, with the, uh, managing and handling with all of the travels and everything around. Not only her, but also Helen, Annie, all of the team were really supportive from the Estonian uh, public broadcaster. Um, we really want to congratulate them for the huge NF uh, work and, and, uh, and, and the, uh, the hard work they have been doing during this past few days. Hello. Uh, Pile, uh, how is, how does it, what does it mean to you to, to be part in, of an event like this? And how I mean, it's, it is the biggest entertainment event in Estonia and everybody, like the audience is cheering for it and all the people who are working for it are cheering for it and it's a very long process and yeah, I think it, it is a grand event that everybody's talking and everybody's watching and so it's something to, it, it's great to be part of something so big. When it comes to the music and the winner and everything, what do you expect? As, an, as the as part of the audience, uh, I'd say. Well, do you, see, do you ask me about the winner? Yeah. Let's or your favorites? It's hard to say my, about my favorites. It's not I'm not being pol uh, politically correct, but uh, I like Victor a lot. I like Inger a lot. I like uh, Stefan a lot. But uh, last year it was very obvious who is who is going to win. This year, sort of, it leans towards one person, but it's still not 100% sure. Okay, and do you think Estonia can do well with any of those songs at the Eurovision in, in Tel Aviv? Uh, I think, well, I'm not 100% sure, mm -hmm. but I think uh, definitely the very good, very good song will win. Okay. Uh, in the quality, in the, like, song quality-wise, definitely very good song will win. Okay, what's the thing that you keep on, like, what's the thing that uh, you, you may believe that keeps the Estonian broadcaster pushing up uh, this and, in, and enhancing this event in the, in the in the future every year and every year after every year it gets uh, much better and, and and grows much more. What's the thing that you think is a successful like uh, element of a yeah. First thing, it's not only music; it's entertainment in general. So there are a lot of things happening around the Estilaul, and there are you know these uh, comedy clips between the stage acts. There mm -hmm. are stage acts that are surprising. There are like all the top parties are participating and so and it sort of remains like uh, I think it's uh, like the authors also they mm. really mm. want to mm. push themselves and mm. it's not that okay I don't want to participate I think if uh, people are really creating songs for the uh, for the competition and uh, and also it's not some it's you know the variety variety of songs and songwriters is so big that there are you know this disco song and there are those folky songs and there are like in the uh, semi-finals you know there were like very this kind of specific songs so it's it's a mix of songs and it's not you know that everybody knows so AC Laos this is one direction no it's like you know five directions yeah, yeah. and as part of the as part of this stuff what's the thing that makes you feel most comfortable with of most um, you know pleased with after all this hard work well, first things, uh, this year we started with uh, semi-finals that were live shows for the first time in the history. And I think it, it has been a very exciting process because previously it has been recorded in a studio. This time to be in Tartu, completely different town, being live show, completely different way. So to see the process and to understand that there are young, young artists that are actually really for the first time getting a big stage mm -hmm. that they have never maybe, they haven't been participating in such a big audience and and it's fun to see I think already from semi-finals to this to the big final the development has been yeah, huge it's been huge yes so I must say that thank you so much for all your help during this I'm happy to see that you are here it's it's been a pleasure it's a truly been a pleasure I'm sure it will not be the last time ah, for well, sure let's see next year so then. yeah for sure <laughs> amazing we will continue our tour through the okay. arena. Thank you so very enjoy much. your evening. Yeah, for talking to us. Uh, you too. I hope the best song wins, and Definitely. we'll see what happens Definitely. in the in the in the <laughs> final. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Pilar. So yeah, it's gonna it's gonna only ten minutes more. Yeah, ten minutes, nothing less. Let's go, Basiliki. So as you can see here, it's the whole press room. All the journalists from both Estonian media and uh, international media are working. Have been working for the last couple of days. Are also some people eating as well, and that is the table where the winner will stand and will see during the press conference after the show is over and the winner will be uh, talking to all the press uh, sharing uh, his or her impressions on how the performance was and the show was the overall thing 
those are the numbers on the screen, uh, the numbers that Estonian audience must use in case they want to vote for their favorites. Uh, of course, international media cannot do it, but uh, they're still there. And uh, there's a lot of people working here, so they might need to know which are the numbers. So let's go. Let's uh, go ahead, a bit ahead, and uh, try to make it a bit um, closer to the arena because it's going to be really exciting. The warming up seems to be also really enjoyable. Let's see um, what's going on in there. Follow me, Vasiliki, because Vasiliki is behind the camera. She's a really nice Greek girl, and uh, she's having she's having um, help ESU Plus for all this coverage during the past few days as well. You see, this is the arena Saku Surhal for Estilal 2019 final. Uh, you see, all the audience has uh, now taken their seats, and all the artists are now waiting nervously, waiting for sure to go. Uh, uh, it's really exciting, isn't it? Like, they cannot wait. The winner will go to the Eurovision Song Contest to represent Estonia in May. And um, for sure, it's going to be one in a lifetime experience. Um, whoever gets to be there, it's going to be really exciting. Um, there's plenty of people here. It's almost 6,000 people inside Saku Circle, which was the Eurovision 22 arena as well. Um, there's plenty of restaurants around, people getting some food, people getting some drinks, ready to enjoy the party here inside Saku Hall. And also the stage which has been developed for this time uh, has also been used in the semi-finals in Tartu. And um, there in the middle of, of the arena you got the green room where all the artists will, will sit and will be nervously waiting for the, 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 the results uh, to be announced by the host. And uh, there's not much left to say actually just uh, guys uh, I hope you enjoyed the show back in in, in, in in your places and I hope to uh, get to you to bring closer to you SLL again really really soon and um, yeah I'll, I'll see you somewhere else thank you very much for following our live coverage and enjoy all the Eurovision 2019 season <laughs>